16.13 prepare prawn biryani mutton biryani chili chicken fry and saute vegetables task 3 preparation of mutton biryani four portions ingredients quantity basmati rice 4 cups mutton 1 kg curd 1 cup onion 2 numbers tomatoes 2 numbers coriander leaves 1 cup mint leaves 1 cup ginger 1 inch garlic clove 1 large oil 1 cup cloves 3 numbers cardamom 3 numbers cinnamon 2 sticks turmeric 1 teaspoon cumin powder 2 teaspoon coriander powder 2 teaspoon chili powder 1 teaspoon chilies 6 numbers salt to taste pre preparation grind ginger garlic mint and coriander leaves to a fine paste along with yogurt wash the rice and meat pieces do all the cutting as per necessary method of preparation heat oil and fry all the spices and onions fry them till they turn to golden brown add the ground masala paste and finely chopped tomatoes fry this out till it is cooked well add the washed meat and water allow it to boil add salt turmeric chili powder check the taste and seasoning add the rice and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes cover the half cooked biryani place over this red hot coal for about 20 minutes stir in between once keep it closed till it is served serve hot along with raita task 4 preparation of chili chicken fry four portions ingredients quantity boneless chicken 500 grams egg 1 one flour 1 tablespoon chili powder 2 teaspoon turmeric powder 1/2 teaspoon salt to taste green chili 7 to 9 numbers crushed ginger 1 tablespoon oil for frying butter 2 tablespoon pre preparation cut boneless chicken into small cubes add chili powder turmeric powder and salt to chicken mix corn flour and egg properly with chopstick add to chicken the mixture and marinate for 30 minutes method of preparation heat oil in a pan deep fry chicken cubes until cooked drain the oil and keep aside slice green chilies into half heat another skillet and melt butter and add sliced chilies and finely crushed ginger fry for 1 minute add fried chicken pieces and fry under medium flame for 5 minutes or until chicken pieces takes up the flavor of chili and ginger garnish with chopped cilantro and serve hot check the spicy taste task 5 preparation of saute vegetables four portions ingredients quantity capsicum green 20 grams capsicum red 20 grams capsicum yellow 20 grams carrot 40 grams onion 40 grams baby corn 20 grams butter 30 grams salt 5 grams pre preparation clean and wash all the vegetables remove the stalks and middle portion of capsicum remove the skin of the onion cut into fancy shapes the onion peel the carrot using the peeler cut carrot into fancy shape cut capsicum into even shapes method of preparation heat a frying pan and melt butter saute all the vegetables and season with salt check the taste we have learnt in this exercise the method of preparation of prawn biryani mutton biryani chili chicken fry and saute vegetables 
in our next exercise we will learn the method of preparation of chinese rice dishes Exercise 15.14 Prepare Chinese Rice Dishes Task 3 Preparation of Chinese Pulao 4 Portions Ingredients Quantity Carrot 1 Number Mushroom 8 to 10 Small Baby Corn 5 to 6 Cauliflower 1 and a half Cup Onion 2 Capsicum 2 Dry red chilies 2 to 3, garlic 10 to 15 flakes, salt to taste, pepper to taste, ajinomoto a pinch, vinegar 2 to 3 dash, soya sauce 2 to 3 dash, tomato ketchup 2 to 3 dash, chili sauce to taste, cooked rice 250 grams, pre preparation. Cook the rice with twice the amount of salted water. Strain the excess water after the rice is cooked. Keep aside the cooked rice. Remove all the vegetable skin and wash well. Keep the mushroom as whole. Cut the cauliflower into small pieces. Cut the two onions into eight pieces. Cut the capsicum into half inch cubes using the knife and the cutting board. Tear the dry red chilies into pieces and remove the seeds using hand. Crush the garlic using a knife. Method of preparation. Heat oil in a kadai. Add red chilies, garlic, baby corns, mushroom, carrot, cauliflower, onion and capsicum. Stir it using the Chinese ladle. Cook for 5 minutes. Add pepper, salt, Ajinomoto, chili sauce, tomato sauce, soya sauce and vinegar. Mix well using the Chinese ladle. Cook again for 2 minutes. Cook till the vegetables are crisp. Ensure the sauce coats the veggies. Add cooked rice. Mix it well by tossing. Check the taste and salt. Add salt and sauces pepper if required. We have learnt in this exercise the method of preparation of Chinese rice dishes. In our next exercise, we will learn the method of preparation of complete Chinese menu. Exercise 15.15 Prepare complete Chinese menu Task 2 Preparation of chopped sweet 4 portions Ingredients Quantity Fried noodles 400 grams Sauce for chopped sweet Ingredients Quantity Oil 4 tablespoon Carrots Half cup Capsicum Half cup Spring onions 1 cup Chicken Half cup Chili paste 1 teaspoon Tomato sauce 4 tablespoon Vinegar 2 teaspoon Sugar 1 tablespoon Dark soya sauce 1 teaspoon Chicken stock 2 cups Corn flour 
2 tablespoon salt to taste pre preparation remove all the inedible portions cut the carrot into juliness strip the capsicum chop the spring onions cook the chicken in salted water shred the cooked chicken place them in separate bowls method of preparation heat the oil in a wok stir fry the vegetables using the chinese ladle add chicken chili paste tomato sauce vinegar sugar soya sauce and chicken stock allow to boil mix corn flour with quarter cup of water and add to the sauce add salt simmer for 2 to 3 minutes check the taste using a separate fresh spoon remove and place some fried noodles on each serving plate and top with sauce task 3 preparation of vegetable manchurian four portions ingredients quantity shredded cabbage 2 cups grated carrots 2 cups spring onion 1 chopped green chilies 2 chopped garlic 3 to 4 crushed flakes 2 tablespoon cornstarch or flour 2 tablespoon oil for deep frying soya sauce 1 tablespoon salt to taste pepper powder 1 teaspoon sugar 1 teaspoon ajinomoto a pinch oil 2 tablespoon pre preparation peel the carrot using the peeler remove the top skin of the cabbage peel the garlic skin by pressing with side of the knife remove the stalk of the green chilies with the tip of the knife grate the carrot using grater shred the cabbage using the knife and cutting board place all the cut grated vegetables in separate vessels method of preparation mix the grated cabbage and carrots squeeze the water out from them using hand collect the squeezed cabbage and carrots and mix 1 tablespoon corn starch add few chopped chilies and little salt to it make small balls of the mixture heat the oil in a wok and deep fry the balls till golden brown drain them using a perforated vessel and keep aside heat 2 tablespoon of oil in a separate pan add garlic green chilies and spring onions and mix well add salt pepper powder ajinomoto sugar and soya sauce mix 1 tablespoon corn flour with half cup of cold water and stir into it gently add the fried balls to the gravy cook the vegetable manchurian for 3 to 4 minutes serve hot task 5 preparation of fruit salad four portions ingredients quantity orange 1 number pineapple 225 grams banana 2 numbers cherry 110 gram apple 55 grams cinnamon a pinch clove 2 numbers cream 55 grams sugar 115 grams pre preparation remove the skin of banana and throw the skin into dustbin remove the pineapple skin using knife remove the skin of the orange using hand cut apple pineapple and orange into dice shapes using knife and cutting board cut banana into round shapes using the knife and cutting board cut cherry into two half using knife boil water and sugar for sugar syrup add cinnamon and clove to the boiling water remove from fire when the syrup is thick strain the sugar syrup method of preparation put all the cut fruits in a mixing basin mix the syrup with cut fruits serve with cream by now you would have learned the methods of preparation of various chinese dishes please contact your instructor for further clarifications
एक्सरसाइज नंबर 14.01 कंस्ट्रक्ट अ पावर सप्लाई स्टूडेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज यू विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द पावर सप्लाई कंपोनेंट्स एंड कंस्ट्रक्ट द पावर सप्लाई यूजिंग सजेस्टेड लेआउट रिक्वायरमेंट्स कंपोनेंट्स कैबिनेट transformer primary 230 volts secondary 12.6 volts to 16 volts 250 milliampere silicon diode rectifiers 1 ampere four number electrolytic capacitor 500 microfarad one number voltage regulator 7812 one number heat sink one number heat sink compound terminal strips five bags Three numbers. Assorted colors of hookup wires. Line cable with plug. Fuse holders. Two numbers. Slow blow fuse. 500 milliamps. One number. Quick blow fuse. One ampere. One number. Resistor. 10 k ohms. Half watt. One number. Tools. Long nose pliers. Screw driver set. Soldering iron. Side cutter. Tweezers. Procedure. The stages of the power supply system have been laid out in sequence from the line input on the left to the DC output on the right. Make a few ventilation holes in the cabinet for the convection air flow to cool the components. Do fixing holes on the cabinet for all components. Pass the line cable. Through the cabinet's access hole and tie a knot inside to hold the cable. Fix components on appropriate place. Spread little heat sink compound on the back plate of the voltage regulator before bolting it to the heat sink. Fix the regulator to the heat sink before soldering. This helps to keep the regulator cool during soldering. Keep the wiring clean. Use exact length of wire. Make all bends right angles. Use wiring color code. AC should be green or blue. DC positive should be red. DC negative and ground should be black. The cathode end of diode is indicated by the silver band. Switch on and test to obtain AC 230 volts at the primary of the transformer. AC 16 volts at the secondary. The rectifier output should be approximately 20 volts DC when the smoothing capacitor has been installed. The unregulated voltage at the regulator input should be the same 20 volts. The regulated output voltage should be 12 volts DC. The 1 ampere fuse protects the regulator from burnout when the output be short circuited. Students, now you have learned to identify the power supply components and construct a power supply using the suggested layout. Exercise number 14.02 Troubleshoot defects in simple power supplies Students at the end of this exercise you will be able to carry out step by step and shortcut method of troubleshooting power supply using problem tree and service flow sequence Requirements 
materials bridge rectifier with filter capacitor tools trainee's kit procedure task 1 troubleshoot defect in bridge rectifier power supply in the power supply system check physical defects loose or open wire connections loose or open lead connections dry solder points shorting of terminals due to solder or bending of wire ends trace the circuit wiring and correct the polarities found any defect record the defects observed on table 1 polarity of diodes polarity of polarized capacitor open one of the wire ends of the power cord this will disconnect the transformer primary from the power cord check the power cord using a continuity tester open or shorted wires in the plug check the continuity of transformer primary winding Open any one of the wires soldered at the transformer secondary winding terminals. Check the continuity of secondary windings. Open one lead of each diode. Check the condition of diodes. Open one of the leads of the capacitor. the condition of the filter capacitor by carrying out the capacitor action test check the condition of the load resistor Connections opened while testing. Connect the power supply unit to AC mains and switch on. Check the output condition. Output voltage level DC 12 volts. Ripple voltage input DC 20 volts. Task 2. Troubleshoot defects in power supply using shortcut or logical approach method. Refer the service flow sequence 1 depending on the identified defect of power supply unit. Service flow sequence 1 Observed symptom defective power supply unit Additional symptom main scored OK Problems related with conventional power supplies Missing AC power supply A. Check for blown off AC fuse B. Check on off switch No DC supply A. Check output voltage of rectifier B. Check secondary voltage of transformer. C. Check diodes. D. Check filter capacitor. Students, now you have learned to troubleshoot power supply using step by step and shortcut method.
exercise number 14.03 identify and check elements of power amplifier students at the end of this exercise you will be able to identify control switches sockets and terminals of the power amplifier and identify various stages of the amplifier on the pcb layout requirements tools equipments and instruments pa amplifier hand tools kit procedure precautions before opening the cabinet of pa amplifier remove the main cord from the main supply task 1 identification of controls switches etc identify each control switch and socket on the front and back panels mic input jack sockets mic volume controls mic aux selector switch base treble and master controls monitor led power led power switch ac mains fuse battery terminal block 12 volts earth terminal speaker terminal block 100 volts speaker terminal block 4 ohms 8 ohms and 16 ohms pre out jack socket record your observation on table 1 Identification of components with layout diagram. Open the cabinet of the amplifier. Identify the power amplifier section. Power transistors 96D4007. Driver transformer. Driver transistor C1815BL60. Pre-driver transistors C1815. BL60 power transformer output transformer bridge rectifier KBPC1501 filter capacitor push pull power transistors 2N3773AR draw the layout diagram mark the major components on the layout mark the input and output wirings connected to the power amplifier PCB from the front and the rear panels students now we have learned to identify control switches sockets terminals and various stages of the amplifier Exercise number 14.04 fault finding procedure for loudspeaker Students at the end of this exercise you will be able to troubleshoot the fault in the loudspeaker Requirements tools equipments and instruments PA amplifier dynamic microphone hand tools kit general purpose multimeter analog type materials general purpose loudspeaker two numbers procedure visual check check visually for any physical defects torn or damaged diaphragm and jumper wire from wall coil diaphragm movement place the loudspeaker on a level surface and use both the hands on the opposite sides slightly press the diaphragm inwards and release gently Check the free movement of the diaphragm. 
Resistance check. Set the ohm meter in R into 1 range. Check the voice coil continuity on the speaker lug terminals. Observe a click sound while touching and releasing. Click check. Connect a 1.5 volt AA cell to the speaker lug terminals by observing click sound and movement of the diaphragm by touch and release method. Reverse the polarity of the cell and repeat the steps. Observe the movement of diaphragm on the opposite direction. Connect the loudspeaker to the amplifier terminals and test with a microphone. Hello, one, two, three, mic check. Hello. If found defect, record on table one. Students, now we have learned to identify the fault in the loudspeaker. Exercise number 14.05 Fault Finding Procedure for Microphone Students, at the end of this exercise, you will be able to troubleshoot the fault in a microphone. Requirements Tools, Equipments and Instruments AA Amplifier with Matching Speakers Hand Tools Kit General Purpose Multimeter Analog Type Materials Dynamic Microphone Label mic, procedure, task 1, systematic inspection or testing of dynamic microphone. Check visually for physical defects, damages or any cut in the mic cable. Using ohm meter, check for continuity. in R into 1 range and check for click sound. Repeat the steps by reversing the polarity of the terminals. Task 2. Other types of mic testing. Lapel mic. Check visually for any physical defects or damages or any cut in the mic cable. microphone to the input terminal of PA amplifier system. Switch on and increase the mic volume, give a test call and observe the sound from the loudspeaker. One, two, three. If found defect, record on table one. Students, now you have learned to troubleshoot the fault in a microphone.
लाइव नंबर 14.06 पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स फॉल्ट फाइंडिंग प्रोसीजर फॉर प्री एम्पलीफायर स्टूडेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज यू बी एबल टू ट्रेवल शोर दी प्री एम्पलीफायर रिक्वायरमेंट टूल्स इक्विपमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट पी ए एम्पलीफायर सिग्नल इंजेक्टर हैंड टूल्स किट जनरल पर्पज मल्टीमीटर एनालॉग टाइप मेटीरियल जनरल पर्पज लाउड स्पीकर प्रोसीजर टास्क वन टेस्टिंग दी एम्पलीफायर विथ माइक्रोफोन सिग्नल आइडेंटिफाई एंड चेक ईच कंट्रोल स्विच एंड सॉकेट ऑन द फ्रंट पैनल रियर पैनल एंड स्पीकर कनेक्शन microphone to the input terminal of PA amplifier system switch on PA amplifier increase the mic volume and give a test call observe the sound from the loud speaker hello 1 2 3 mic testing connect the microphone into the next input socket and repeat the steps hello 1 2 3 mic testing task 2 testing the amplifier with signal injection method Connect signal injector to the aux input terminal of PA amplifier system. Switch on PA amplifier, increase the volume control and observe the sound from the loudspeaker. In case of no audio response, carry out signal test with hot end of the volume control terminal. with volume full open and verify measure and confirm dc voltages at selected test points in pre amplifier section transistors t1 to t7 are c1815 bl60 Transistor T1 to T4, mic preamplifiers. T1. Emitter 0.5 volt. Collector 3 volt. Base 1.4 volt. Two emitter 0.5 volt, collector 3 volt, base 1.4 volt. T3 emitter 0.52 volt, collector 3 volt, base 1.45 volt. T4 emitter 0.5 volt, collector 3 volt, base 1.5 volt. T5 auxiliary preamplifier, emitter 3 volt, collector 7.5 volt, base 4 volt. T6 base control emitter 6 volt collector 13 volt base 8 volt T7 tone control emitter 1.45 volt collector 8 volt base 3 volt students now we have learned to troubleshoot the preamplifier Exercise number 14.07 Fault finding procedure for power amplifier using ICs Students at the end of this exercise you will be able to identify various stages of a power amplifier on the PCB layout and locate faults and troubleshoot a power amplifier built with ICs Requirements tools equipments and instruments PA amplifier 
signal injector, general purpose loudspeaker, hand tools kit, general purpose multimeter, analog type, materials, layout diagram. Procedure Task 1 Identification of pin connection of the IC used. Open the cabinet of the PA amplifier. Identify different stages in the PA amplifier. Power amplifier. Driver amplifier. Pre amplifier. Identify the IC. IC number LA4440. Refer the layout diagram and identify supply, input, output, pin connections and important test points. Pin number 1. Connected to feedback capacitor. Pin number 2. Audio input. Pin number 3, 6, 8 and 14. Ground. Pin number 5. To ripple filter capacitor. Pin number 7 to feedback capacitor. Pin number 9 and 13 to bootstrap capacitors. Pin number 10 and 12 audio output. Record your observation on table 1. Task 2 Testing the IC amplifier with signal. Connect signal injector to the aux input terminal of PA amplifier system. Switch on PA amplifier, increase the volume control and observe the sound from the loudspeaker. In case of no audio response, carry out signal test with hot end of the volume control terminal with volume control full open and verify. Measure and confirm DC voltages at IC pin points. IC LA 4440 left channel pin number 1 1 volt Pin number 5, 11 volt. Pin number 7, 1 volt. Pin number 9, 10 volts. Pin number 10, 5.5 volts. Pin number 11, 11 volts. Pin number 12, 6 volts. Pin number 13, 10 volts. Students, now we have learned to identify various stages of a power amplifier built with ICs and troubleshoot it. of a compact disc player. Students, at the end of this exercise, you will be able to identify the switches, sockets and controls of a CD player, connect the CD player to a TV and amplifier, and play a compact disc with audio and video. Requirements Materials Audio Video CD Equipment Training Skip CD Player Audio and Video Color TV receiver Audio amplifier Procedure Task 1 Audio CD player Identify the name and function of each labeled part of the CD player Record the details in the record sheet Interconnect the CD player to an audio amplifier unit Left 
and right channels of the CD player to audio in left and right channels of amplifier. Audio out left and right channels of amplifier to audio in of loudspeakers. Switch on the CD player and the audio amplifier. Insert the CD in the CD player and play back. Operate other controls available on the CD player. Interconnect the CD player to a TV. Switch on the VCD player and the TV. Switch the TV to AV mode. Play the VCD. other controls available on the CD player. Students, now we have learned to operate a CD player and connect it to a TV and amplifier. Exercise number 14.09 Identify internal parts of a CD player Students, at the end of this exercise, you will learn to identify the front loading motor assembly, the turntable motor assembly, the linear tracking pickup assembly and the slider motor and tracking coil. Requirements Materials Training skip CD player Audio and video Procedure Task 1 Audio CD player parts identification in mechanical section. Assembly Pinion Gear Gear 1 Gear 2 Turn Table J Rail Unit Rail Tray inner limit switch Latch Crossed roller Unit plate C cam spring Spindle motor or turntable motor Record sheet Table 1 Parts identification in mechanical section
installation of servo system and pick up unit parts in an audio and video CD player. Optical pickup unit. Laser diode. Photo detector diode. Laser beam. Tracking drive amplifier. Motor drive amplifier. Tracking coil. Slide assembly. Gears and wheel. Sliding rod. Slider motor or traverse motor. PSP IC. Table 2. Parts identification in servo and pickup assembly. Students, now we have learned to identify the internal parts of a CD player and its assemblies. exercise, you will be able to identify, analyze and service the complaint set dead using service flow sequence and troubleshooting chart. Requirements Equipments CD player Trainees kit Procedure Connect the CD player to the mains power and confirm the complaint. Use the problem tree 1. Get to know the possible causes of the complaint Set dead. Follow the logical service flow sequence 1 to identify the defective component. Service flow sequence 1. Observed symptom set dead. Additional symptom main scored OK. Problems related with conventional power supplies. Missing AC power supply. A. Check for blown off AC fuse. B. Check on off switch. No DC supply. A. Check output voltage of rectifier. B. Check secondary voltage of transformer. Third in exercise number 14.02. D. Check filter capacitors. Refer capacitor testing methods in exercise number 14.02. Problems related with SMPS. Primary DC voltage missing. A. Check fusible resistor. Refer resistor testing methods in exercise number 14.02. B. Check resistor. Refer testing methods in exercise number 14.02. C. Check diodes. Refer testing methods in exercise number 14.02. D. Check capacitors. Refer testing methods in exercise number 14.02. 
DC output supply missing. A. Check transformer secondary voltage. C. Check diodes and filter capacitors. No switching action of transistor. Check driver transistor. D. Check opto coupler in the feedback path. Refer troubleshooting chart 1 for the probable causes for the defect or faulty component. Service the defect following the suggested remedial measures given in the troubleshooting chart. Record the remedial action taken to service the identified defect along with the components replaced, if any, in record sheet. Once the fault identified is serviced, Carry out the general cleaning of the set. After rectifying the fault, test the set for the working condition in respect of its initially reported complaint. Students, now you have learned to identify, analyze and service the complaint set done. Exercise number 14.11 Servicing CD player with the complaint tray does not open. Students, at the end of this exercise, you will be able to identify, analyze and service the complaint tray does not open using service flow sequence and troubleshooting chart. Requirements Equipments CD player Tools Training kit Procedure Connect the CD player to the mains power and operate the tray eject switch and confirm the complaint. Use the problem tree to get to know the possible causes of the complaint. Tray does not open. Follow the logical service flow sequence to to identify the defective components. Sequence 2. Observed symptom. Tray does not open. Additional symptom. Does not open fully or stuck while opening. Problems related with the tray does not open. Faults due to mechanical section. A. Check for dust accumulation in gears and tray moving parts. B. Check contacts of open close switch. C. Check wiring between switch and microprocessor. Faults due to loading motor. A. Check for the loading motor supply by pressing open close switch. B. Check loading motor by giving 6 volts external supply by changing polarity. Faults due to motor drive IC. A. Check the voltages at the pins of the motor drive IC. Measure and confirm voltages at selected IC pin point with reference to the service manual. B. Check control signal from DSP IC. Fault 
इनकी कंट्रोल आई सी ए रिप्लेस के डी सी बोर्ड बी चेक द की इन एंड की आउट पल्सिस एंड ट्रैक्स refer trouble shooting chart 2 for the probable causes for the defect or faulty component service the defect following the suggested remedial measure given in the trouble shooting chart record the remedial action taken to service the identified defects along with the components replaced if any in the record sheet after rectifying the fault test the set for its working condition in respect of its initially reported complaint students now we have learned to identify analyze and service the complaint tray does not open धनिया नहीं खाते हो तो इसे क्यों खिलाते हो रघु के दुकान में यूपीआई चलता है ना ये भी जानता है अब रोज रोज दस रुपए का धनिया नहीं खिलाना पड़ेगा मतलब यूपीआई